Today we're going to start looking at HTML5, and I want to make it very clear that I really don't know HTML5. I'm learning as I go, and I'm making these videos as I learn. And also, things about HTML5 may change in the future, uh, because it isn't completely supported by all browsers, but a uh, majority of it is, and that's what we're going to be going over in these tutorials. Also, just like my JavaScript tutorials, you'll notice it says Linux in the video title. HTML5 is not uh, OS dependent, it's cross-platform, uh, it's based on your browser. Um, but I put that in the title because my tutorials are for Linux users. Other users can watch it, but don't expect any help when you have issues with uh, proprietary software and browsers. So now that I got that out of the way, today we're going to look at a big part of HTML5, although HTML5 has a lot of features. But the big one was videos, video tags. Um, no longer do we need to depend on Flash uh, players to play videos. Uh, you can just throw some HTML tags down and play some video. But the big issue was what formats, what codecs will be playable. Well, as far as HTML5 is concerned, they just care about the tags. As far as the codecs, that's up to the browsers. There are three main codecs that are being used. Uh, MP4, WebM, and AUG. Uh, WebM and AUG are open source, and as far as I know, the only browser that plays all three formats would be Google Chrome. Uh, when it comes to Firefox, it will play uh, AUG and MP4, I'm sorry, AUG and WebM, and um, Opera, if I'm saying that properly, will also play AUG and WebM because they're open source, and there's, um, if it, they were to support MP4, uh, there's licensing issues and they possibly have to pay fees to the owners of MP4, which I believe is Apple, but don't quote me on that. As far as other major browsers, Internet Explorer and um, Safari, um, they only support MP4. Um, and that's just their choice. There's really no reason for it other than uh, them making that the requirements because to support the other formats uh, wouldn't cost them anything. So, uh, but I'm going to be using Firefox um, in my tutorials, and you're going to want to use, uh, you know, the newest version of Firefox you can get. Uh, HTML5, I believe, is started to support in 3.5. Uh, but if you're running uh, Firefox 4 or Firefox 5, uh, you should be good with these tutorials. So let's just get started now that I've got all the disclaimers and conversation out of the way. I'm going to use Vim as my text editor and we'll just create a file called index.html. Um, oh, let me show you real quick. I have three files in this folder. They're all the same video but in the three different formats that we just discussed. So Vim index.html, not Vim, Vim with an M. <laughs> and we will start writing out our code here. Now our basic code is, we'll start off with uh, our HTML tags, so HTML, and we'll put the closing tag down here, HTML, and we'll even create body tags. You know, this is just to be proper about it. This uh, simple little script would still work if we didn't have these tags, but the more prop you are, the better chance that your code will work in multiple browsers. So next, uh, we will create just a simple tag for our video. We will say the tag will be video. Then we're going to give it a source, and since it's in the same fo uh, folder as um, the HTML file, we just have to give it the file name, and we're going to go with og in this case, and the video is called life. And at this point, we can give it a width, and we'll say, I don't know, 320. Now the actual video is um, uh, 720p, which is 1200, uh, I want to say 1280 by 720p, obviously. So the video will still be at that, but just the player will resize it to this. If they were to play it full screen, it would still play at the full resolution. It still is playing at the full resolution, it's just sized to a different size. And then we're also going to say controls equal controls. And that we'll get into more in a little bit, but basically is saying that um, you have the play and the seek and the volume and the full screen button all on the little control at the bottom rather than ha having that be hidden. Now we can close that tag. 
But we also want to do this. We're going to type in between this tag a message for if the browser does not support um, HTML5 and video tags. So your browser is not supported. So if somebody uh, was to use an older version of Firefox or Internet Explorer or Safari or whatever browser before they supported HTML5, they would just get this message instead of the video player. That way they know what's going on. If you left that blank, it just wouldn't play and they'd be sitting there wondering what's going on. So let's go ahead and save this. And I'm going to go into Firefox here. And I am going to open up a file. So I'm just going to go file, open, and I'm going to go where I have that save HTML5 and we've got our index uh, HTML here. I'll open it and hey, there's our video. It's five minutes long. We've got our controls with volume and seek and play and pause. So I can play that out. Okay. And that's great. Uh, let's real quick look here. What would happen if the player is not supported, uh, video tags are not supported. I'm going to go back into my terminal here and I'm just going to use a text-based browser which obviously isn't going to support HTML5 which I'll use links to and we'll say index.html when I do that, links to not link to, there we go. You can see it just says your browser is not supported where that video player would be. Great, so I'll just quit out of that. Um, but let's say your browser does support video tags, but not necessarily the AUG video format, such as Internet Explorer or Safari. Well, if you want to make your code, you know, as compatible as possible, we're going to make some changes here. You know, it's up to the developer whether or not they're going to create multiple copies of each video. Um, you know, if you're making your videos, you know, for Linux users, obviously, they're going to be using a browser that supports AUG, but if they're Mac users or Windows users, yeah, we can say we don't care, but really, as uh, programmers or web designers, we really should make our code as compatible as possible. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the source file from this first tag, and then we're going to put little source tags within our video tags. So we're going to say source, and then give our source file which will be life.og and basically this is going to be the order that it tries the videos in. We're going to say this is a video slash og type and I am just going to save some time for the tutorial and just copy and paste that which may upset some people but I'm limited to 15 minutes here on YouTube. MP4 and we'll say webm and we can edit these tag types or video types mp4 and webm. So now if we go and we save that file and we go back to Firefox here and we refresh this page we can press play and just like before it's playing a video. Well, which video is it playing? Well, we can right click on the video here and go to view video and as you can see in the file name right here, let's, okay, paused it. Um, okay, so oh, no, I didn't pause video. it. Pause. You can see that this is the AUG file because that's the first in the list and it's the first that this browser supported. Now, if I was to go into um, my HTML file again, let's do that. And completely remove this line. and go back into my browser here and refresh this page. Well, I've got our video, you can see it looks the same. I can press play and it starts playing. I'll pause it and to see what video it is, we can just go view video. And as you can see, if I pause this, it says that it is now playing the WebM format. Now, why is it playing the WebM format and not the MP4 format? Because I'm running Firefox, and I have a little typo here anyway, but that's not a big deal. Um, but the reason it skipped the MP4 is because I'm running Firefox. Now, if you're running Internet Explorer or Safari, it would skip the 
.og file if it was listed there and go to mp4 and so forth and so on. So this is the order that the browser will try. So that's how you make it customizable or compatible I should say with um, multiple different browsers. I'm going to paste back in here my .og format. So if you want to convert your file, and I use FFmpeg, and I just have a script that will convert any video to all three formats, um, and then you upload all of them. Now, if you're limited on you know storage space, you're going to have to make your you know your own decision on what format you're supporting. Um, you could even probably leave off like the WebM and just have OG and MP4 because I think then you'll be good with all browsers having both OG and WebM. Um, I think is kind of repetitive because I think every browser that supports, supports OGG also supports WebM off the top of my head. I could be wrong about that. So having all three may not be as important as having just the two, but if you want to have full compatibility, um, you should have all three. Now we can also remove something like this controls tag. Save that and go to our browser here and refresh this page. And here's our video. You see when I hover over it, there's no controls. People can still right click it and click play and it will play. They can click it and pause it. They can even click show controls and it would show the controls. But by default, because we didn't put that controls tag in there, um, it does not show the controls. Now, also, if you wanted to, you could add in another tag for um, playing. So what we can do is in here, inside our video tag, we can type autoplay equals autoplay. Now, we don't have controls, but when we refresh the page, it automatically plays, it autoplays. So if you want that, you can have that. So that's our first look at HTML5. And uh, one nice thing about it is doing uh, the source for the video this way. Um, we don't have to put in any type of browser check. We don't have to do if Internet Explorer, then do this. If Firefox, then do this. Uh, it's all taken care of with the HTML5. Uh, as long as you list out the uh, video codecs there, uh, the different formats, the video will, uh, the browser will automatically pick the first one in the list that works with it. So. Uh, I have more coming in the coming weeks. Check back every Wednesday uh, or subscribe so you don't miss anything for uh, Web Development Wednesdays. And I hope that you have a great day. Oh, and don't forget to check out the links in the description where I will have an example of this code posted. Thanks, and once again, have a great day.